Hey guys, welcome back to the Homestead Adventure. In today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to butcher a chicken. This video is for educational purposes, and if you don't want to see an animal get butchered, kindly move along. This video is not for you. So for the rest of you, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is kill the chicken. So I've got a slip knot hanging from this tree and I'm just gonna slide its feet through here. Then I'm gonna take a sharp knife and I'm gonna slit the side of the throat um, right on the jugular. And then we're gonna drain the blood and it'll just go to sleep. So we're gonna take the neck, go right on the side and slit the throat. And then the blood's gonna start draining. And then it's gonna start flapping around like crazy. And that means that the chicken is dead. So once it stops flapping and the chicken is dead, it's time to cut off the head. And it's still gonna flap, but just a little bit. So now the chicken is dead, the head is cut off, and now it's time to scald it and pluck it. So this is where we scald the chicken. I know the water is super dirty because these were live animals on the ground. They get really dirty. So I've got a pot full of water on this propane tank here. And the water is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. You want the water between 140 and 170 because you don't want it to get too hot or it'll start cooking the bird. And you want it warm enough so that the feathers are going to come off easily. And that's why we scald them so that the feathers come off a lot easier than if you try to pluck it without scalding it. You only do this for about 10 seconds. Otherwise, like I said, it's gonna start cooking your bird. So after you've scalded it, just do a quick test rip off some feathers, see that they come out really easily. And now it is time to pluck this bird. Now you can pluck these chickens by hand, but I use a chicken plucking machine because it's just a lot easier to do it that way. And what I do is I'm just gonna turn the water on. I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna throw the chicken in. With my chicken plucking machine, it only takes about 10 to 20 seconds. You don't want to go too long or the, the legs and the wings are going to start ripping off. So there are still a few feathers left. You can just pull those off by hand. And now our chicken is plucked and it is time to gut it. All right, so now we're gonna gut this. I know there's a bunch of flies over here. Not much I can do about that. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the legs off. You're just gonna find this joint here. Slice and it comes right off. Set those aside. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the neck area. So we're gonna grab some skin and you're gonna slice that. And you're gonna pull down, take the neck out, and you're gonna be looking for two tubes. You got the esophagus and the trachea. And we also have this sac right here, which is called the craw. And we're gonna take that out. So you're gonna locate the esophagus and the trachea these two here and I'm going to pull down and you're going to get down as far as you can. I'm going to cut away this skin too. I don't need that much skin on my chicken. I'm just going to cut this skin off. Sorry, hopefully you can see that. So now we got these two tubes and the craw. 
and we're going to grab all of that and we're going to cut as far down as we can and cut all of that out. This is all garbage. You don't want any of this. There we go. Cut that out and that goes in your gut bucket. Now we're going to flip it around and we're going to cut right above the tail and you're going to cut, cut through the bone. Now this part is the trickiest part because you need to cut around the intestines. So you don't want to cut the intestines because that is going to taint your meat. You don't want any poop in there. So we're going to cut through until we're through the bone. All the way. There we go. And then we're going to carefully, carefully cut around until you see intestines. This is going to be tricky your first time because you don't know exactly what you're looking for. But after you do it a few times, you get the hang of it. Slowly cut away and you're going to see a tube with some veins in it. That is what you're looking for. I hope you can see this. So right there, we're cutting around that. So you're going to cut all the way around it. And I like to just flip it over and do the rest on this side. And I just cut this open just a little bit. All right. I'm going to flip it back over. And we're going to reach into that cavity. We're just going to kind of stick our finger in this cavity so we can get the the intestines out and kind of get the butthole deattached. So there's some spots on the side that you can cut a little bit. Flip back over if you need to. Cut away what you need to. All right, we're getting there. Um, this goes faster the more you do it. Like I can do a chicken, a whole chicken in probably about five minutes. But for the purposes of this video, I want to show you as detailed as possible. So, so now the butthole's cut out, it's kind of hanging there now. So now it's time to cut this open. So you're just gonna take your knife and cut up here just the skin. Make sure you don't go too deep and you're not cutting those organs. Okay. So now you can see all the insides, buttholes hanging out, and you're ready to gut this. So I just pick it up and shove my whole hand in there and just wear that chicken like a puppet and let gravity do its job. Let everything fall out. You're gonna have to go way up in there all the way to the top and grab everything and just let it fall out. The lungs are especially slippery, so you just gotta get in there, grab it. All right, pretty much got everything and just rip it out. Take a look in there, see what you missed. I don't know what the hell that is. All right, so we got all our guts out. Let's take a look at the guts and see what you wanna save. So first we got the liver here. And on the liver, we're going to find the gallbladder, which is this little guy here. You do not want the gallbladder, it is poisonous. It will taint your meat. If it gets on your meat, it's not good. So you're gonna just completely cut that out. So I'm gonna cut out that whole section of liver 
because we don't want that gallbladder. So just cut around it. And you can save the liver here. Always check the health of your liver. Make sure there's no spotting. This one looks really good. So we are good to go. Next we have the heart here. I already pulled it off. And you can just cut the top off. You don't need all that. And here's the heart. And then we have the gizzard. There are two connections to the gizzard that you're gonna cut off. You got the end right here and this right here. So you're just gonna cut that off. So this is everything they've ate. <laughs> and yeah, it gets a little messy. And to get inside the gizzard, you're just gonna cut it open I know this, oh, okay. I'm not even gonna fucking do that. <laughs> I'll show you the gizzard later, how about, how about that? And the rest of this you're just gonna throw into your gut bucket. Well, that's great. I can't use that anymore. Ugh, filming is not always easy. All right, so the chicken is gutted. Our last step is to cut out the neck. So you're just gonna cut on both sides. So you got it all cut until you can just twist it and rip it off. And I save the necks and put them in my bone broth. Set that aside and now it's time to rinse this. And I'm going to bring it inside and rinse it in there. So our next step is just to rinse this chicken. Just, I just took it inside and just going to rinse it real well. After I'm done rinsing this chicken, I am going to put it in the fridge for 24 to 48 hours. And that'll just help it go through the rigor mortis process and give you a much more tender meat. As you can see, I still have a little bit of feathers on here, but just during the butcher process, I don't care about getting all the feathers off. I just care about getting it done and in the fridge. Um, although I do want to make sure that it's clean before it goes in the fridge. So we're good there. I'm going to just rinse this out. Okay. And I'm going to show you the last step. So now I put the chickens in an ice water bath for 24 to 48 hours. So for the very last step, I cut up the chicken and I am putting them in vacuum seal bags and then I just put them straight into the freezer and it is done. So that's basically the whole process. It can be overwhelming the first few times you do it and it can take a lot of time and it can be very messy, especially if you have a lot of birds to do at once but the more you do it the easier it gets this year it went so smoothly we had no issues throughout the whole process so it was really really good this year and if you're wondering what kind of breed i do i do cornish cross for my meat birds because they are only eight weeks from chick to butcher so it's really really fast i only do meat birds once a year. So it's only two months out of the year that I take care of these birds and then I butcher them and that's it. So it's a lot more simple than any other meat animals I've raised in that it only takes two months out of the year. So if you want to learn how to section up a chicken before freezing it, just let me know in the comments and I can post a video on how to section that up I typically don't freeze whole birds just because I, I'm not very good at cooking whole chickens and I really like to use just the breasts a lot of the time 
and I'll use the legs and put them in the smoker and do those that way. So I really don't care for putting whole birds in the freezer, but if I were to do that, I would be using shrink wrap bags. You can find them on Amazon, just search for poultry shrink wrap bags and you can get them on there if you prefer to freeze your whole bird. Otherwise, I section mine up and I put them in um, vacuum seal bags and put them in the freezer and it works very, very well for me. So before we leave, I want to mention that I just started my product business. It's called Moonlight Emporium. I make and sell homemade tea blends and tinctures and I am getting into taxidermy as well. I don't do full taxidermy, but I work with bones, skulls, and furs. So you can find all those things on my Etsy shop. The shop is called Moonlight Emporium KM. I will post a link in the description and you can find my products there. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope to see you on the next adventure. Bye guys.